hustle by Alex Harris there. As head coach with Tony Vittoria wasn't even second guessing, he sent him all the way around. And fantastic slide there as you watch on the replay. So the Flyers now trail eight to nine. They are back in this ball game. So Zach Shearer at the plate now for the Flyers. It looks like we might have a pitch runner here, trying to figure out what's going on. And yes, we will. That'll be number 28, Brad Burkhart. Brad Burkhart, a PO for the Flyers. He has good speed also. He plays a little bit of outfield. He did in high school, that is, in the summer team. So he has great speed on the bases. He's gonna try and make something happen here for the Flyers. As Zach Shearer is at the plate. Shearer currently two for four on the day. His first two at bats, he had hits. Both uh, over the shortstop's head, and then the other one was in the center field. Then the la his last two at bats, he's grounded out to the third baseman. Trying to pull outside pitches, so he really needs to focus up here and try to hit this uh, pitches, sidewinder pitcher here to right center. Big at bat for the Flyers. And he'll foul that one off back to the wall. Good swing there is that ex exact, excuse me, exactly what it looked like he was trying to do there, go back side with that pitch. Last time Heron faced uh, Zach Shearer yesterday, he struck him out. Shearer trying to get some revenge today. So he will swing on that outside pitch and miss. He's now down, a, down in the hole 0-2. So two count, run around second base, two outs for the Flyers. They trail nine to eight. Catcher setting up way outside, and that ball's way too far out. That'll be ball one. One and two count now. <laughs> the Flyers. Looking for one more hit to tie this ball game back up. That'll be inside pitch. Oh, and Shira rips it down the line in foul territory, though. Good cut there by Shira. Just unable to keep the ball in, play in fair territory. So one and two counts still here. Catcher setting up outside. And Shira will line that one in the right center gap. Coach Fortoria is wheeling around the runner from second, and he will score. The Flyers have tied the ball game back up nine to nine. Big hit there by Zach Shearer. He took that off-speed pitch on the outside corner and hit in the right center. He's been working on it all last night and all today. This morning, as yesterday, Heron struck him out. So great piece of hitting right there from Zach Shearer. He comes up with his third hit of the day. So now coming to the plate for the Flyers, number 20, Mark Pavlis. Pavlis is over three on the day. He's looking for his first hit. Possibly a big hit here and putting the Flyers up. He'll hit a ground ball there to the second baseman though. He'll feel it cleanly and get the out of first base. So the Flyers, a big inning there for them as they have tied this ball game back up off of five hits, five runs, no errors from the Spiders. We have a tied ball game here, nine to nine. We'll come back to you for the top of the ninth and a nail biter.
So we're back here, Flyer fans, live from Time Warner Cable Stadium. We're at the big bottom of the eighth inning for the Flyers. They score five runs to tie this ball game back up nine to nine. On the mound for the Flyers, still number 15 freshman, Garrett Atkinson. And the batter will lay a bun down the first baseline in foul territory. And we have a new player at first base. That's number 42, Ryan Berry. He really replaced A.J. Ryan. So A.J. Ryan with that big hit to right to center field. He took second base and they put in a pinch runner for him. And now Ryan Berry is in for him. So the all one pitch there is too far outside. A one on one count now. Here's the pitch from Atkinson. It's a good off speed pitch. He pops that one up to the right side of the infield. Ryan Berry calls everyone off. He makes the catch. And that's the first out of the top of the night. We have a new player behind the plate, too. It's freshman number five, Matt Pollan. So the Flyers switching up some things in the field right now. And that'll bring to the plate for the Spiders, number eight, Corey Mohait. The last batter to pop up there was Nick Polos. First pitch there to Mohait. It's a strike on the outside corner. Flyers dugout getting very pumped up down there. As the life of them has come back. There's a great all-speed pitch from Garrett Atkinson, and he gets Corey Milhite to do a check swing on that one. The home plate umpire says he did swing. Atkinson is up on the count now, 0-2. Another all-speed pitch on the outside corner. The home plate umpire will ring up Milhite on strike three. So Garrett Atkinson, three strikeouts in a row. Excuse me, <laughs> he has three strikeouts in the game so far. That'll be the second out of the top of the ninth. The Flyers need one more out, and they will come in to bat in the bottom of the ninth. At the plate now for the Spiders, number two, Tanner Stanley, the leadoff hitter. He'll let the first pitch go for a ball in the inside corner. Stanley is 0 for 2 in the day with three walks. That pitch there by Garrett Atkinson, a strike. A one on one count now. Here's a one on one pitch, and it's a hard ground ball. That's going to get to the right side of the infield. Stanley will now stand on first base with a single. And that'll be his first hit of the, g hit of the game, yes. That'll bring to the plate number three, Mike Small. Small currently over two in the day also. He has a sacrifice bunt, a hit by pitch, and a walk. So Gary Atkinson trying to get the Flyers out of the situation here. There's a little fly ball hit to Luke Walford. He'll make the catch, and the Flyers will get out of that inning. One hit by Tanner Stanley, but the Flyers, Gary Atkinson gets the first batter to pop up to the first baseman. He strikes out the second guy looking, and then Mike Small hits a little blooper line drive kind of right to the second baseman, Luke Wolford, and that'll be it in the top of the ninth for the Spiders. The Flyers will go to the bottom of the ninth now, looking for one run to take home the victory today. We'll come back to you right after this.
And we're back here, Flyer fans, live at Warner Field. After a big bottom of the eighth inning for the Flyers and a shutout in the ninth, the Flyers have tied this ball game back up nine to nine with a chance to win it here in the bottom of the ninth. Coming to play for the Flyers, number seven, Greg Rude. And there's a new pitcher on the mound for the Richmond Spiders. It's number 21, Jonathan DeMarte, Richard sophomore out of Yorktown, Yorktown Heights, New York. First pitch by him is a strike on the outside corner. DeMarte has one win and three losses on the season. He's pitched 15 innings. He's given up 32 hits. 28 runs, 22 which were earned. That pitch there will bounce in the dirt. Almost hitting Greg Rude. It does not though, so it counts one and one now. Here's a one and one pitch. And that will be a strike on the outside corner. One and two count now. Greg Rude all the way from Wisconsin. He's one of the JUCO transfers on this team. He will reach down and foul that one off into the back of the net. Trying to protect there. A one and two count will stay. Rude trying to lead things off here for the Flyers on the bottom of the ninth. He'll hit a ground ball to the right side. It'll pop up in the first baseman. He has a little trouble with it, but he will flip it to the first baseman. And Greg Rude slides in the first, but the, the umpire says he's out. Assistant coach Matt Tallarico is arguing with the umpire. But they say Greg Rude is out. Greg Rude will stay on the base, though. And head coach Tony Vittorio will walk out into the middle of the field. And he's talking with the umpire right now as he's walking away arguing. And now they'll meet together on the first base line. So they're arguing that the pitcher, when he went to cover the bag, did not step on the bag. He missed it. He overran it when he tried to touch it with his foot. And Greg Root slid in safely. So we'll see what the call is. Right now on conference play though, VCU, George Mason, St. Joe's, St. Louis, and Massachusetts all remain 2-0 and on in conference play. 1-1 one one teams include Richmond and Dayton. 0-2 oh teams include Fordham, George Washington, St. Bonaventure, Rhode Island, and LaSalle. So after the talk from head coach Shunny Vittoria, all the umpires will meet together. We'll see what the call is here. A big, important call here in the bottom of the ninth. Uh, Greg Rue could be the deciding run of the game if he is safe. If he is out, we'll go to the batter, number five, freshman hitter, Matt Pullen. And his last at-bat, his first at-bat of the game, and only his third at-bat of the season, he hit a line drive up back up the middle. So the umpires have decided, and they call Greg Rude out at first base. So that'll be the first out of the bottom of the ninth inning. That'll bring to plate number five, Matt Pullen. Pullen trying to lead things off here. He'll let the first pitch go for a ball out too far outside. A 1-0 count now with one out. Flyers playing for one run. He'll let the same pitch go for a ball. Count is now 2-0. Matt Paul is replacing catcher Curious Dugan. He's the last here in the lineup. After him, it'll be number 22, Robbie Centerman. Matt Paul will take a big cut at that one. An outside fastball miss, so we have a 2-1 and one count now. Here's the pitch. 
And it'll be an inside fastball. Porn will pop that one up down the first baseline, but that one will get out of play. So Matt Porn still at the plate, alive with a two and two count. DeMarte throwing harder than any of the pitchers I've pitched today so far, it looks like. Matt Pullen would hit a hard ground ball towards the second baseman and skips off the mound, giving the second baseman a little bit of trouble. But Small makes the play and gets the out of first base. So with two outs in the bottom of the ninth, the Flyers will come to the plate with number 22, Robbie Centerman. Sunderman still trying to keep get things going here for the Flyers. The first here by DeMarte is going to be an all-speed pitch for a strike on the outside corner. The 0-1 pitch from DeMarte is too far inside. That'll be ball one. A one and one count now on deck for the Flyers number nine Luke Wolford Sunderman's two for five on the day one 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 run and one RBI the one and one pitch and Sunderman will let that one go low that'll be a ball so a two and one count now big at bat here for the senior third baseman. He'll let that pitch go low. A three and one count now. Three and one count now to Robbie Sunderman, two outs. Nobody on base. The Flyers need a runner. He'll let that one go and that'll be ball four. So the Flyers get their runner, Robbie Sunderman, the best base runner on the team. He stands on first base now at the, at the plate for the Flyers number nine, Luke Walford. So a big situation here. You might see a steal from the Flyers. Robbie Sunderman at first, but you don't want to risk getting him out also. So a big call by your head coach, Tony Vittori at third base. What do you do? DeMarte checking his runner. Three or four times. Sunderman does go. Luke Wolford hits a ground ball to the second baseman. He fields it. He will get the out at first. So that will be the third out of the inning. We're going into extra innings just like yesterday, folks. A tied 99 ball game. The Flyers unable to score Robbie Sunderman. So we'll come back to you for the top of the tenth. back folks live for Time Warner Field here in extra innings in the 10th the Richmond Spiders will lead off with number 11 Doug Krager he's currently two for five on the day first pitch by Atkinson a great off speed pitch there he'll get Krager swinging and missing on that one so Atkinson still in this ball game for the Flyers He'll throw another all-speed pitch there, too far outside. That'll be ball one. One-on-one one count now to Krager. 
He has one RBI on the day, also two runs. Atkinson will throw a fastball high and outside there. Two and one count. Here's the pitch back and send in. Krieger does a half check swing. They check down with the first base umpire. He says he did not go. We have a three and one count now. Here's a three and one pitch and it's a fastball that's popped up back out of play over the net. So there's a full count now. Gary Atkinson fighting his way back into this at bat. Looking for a big pitch here, and he gets in. He gets in to pop it up out of play once more. So Atkinson trying to throw strikes here, make something happen. I hate to see a walk in this situation. And that one's popped up, I mean, excuse me, flown out to right center. Zach Shearer calls Alex Harris off. He'll make the catch. So that'll be a first out of the inning. And that'll bring to the plate number seven, Matt Dacey. Good job there by Garrett Atkinson getting the first out. Always seems to be the problem here. And extra innings for the Flyers yesterday in the 10th inning, they started off with a walk, which ultimately hurt them and led to the two run home run. That lost them the game, so here today, Garrett Atkinson gets the first down in the 10th. And he starts this batter off with a curve ball. It's too far outside, though. Ball one. Dacey, two for five on the day, just like Krieger. Now that one will be a strike on the inside corner. One and one count now. Atkinson throwing very well. He has one out right now in this inning. He throws another off-speed pitch. Bowen tries to frame it. That's a little too low, though. Two and one count. Atkinson will throw a high fastball that almost hits Stacy on the hands as he put his bat towards it. We have a three and one count now. So Atkinson trying to fight back to this batter. He'll throw a high fastball and almost hit Dacey. That'll be ball four. And Dacey will trot down to first base with a walk. Coming to the plate now for the, for the Richmond Spiders is number 15, Ryan Cook, their DH. Cook is three for five on the day. One run and one RBI. Atkinson checks his runner, he'll throw it home, and he'll throw that one too far high and outside. Ball one. One and no count now with one out. A runner on first base for the Spiders. Atkinson will drill the outside corner for a strike. One and one count now. And Garrett Atkinson will throw to first base. But Dacey will just walk back to the back safely. Atkinson will check his run. The runner will go. There's a throw down to second. Matt Pollen puts a good throw on, and they got him at second base. A great throw by Matt Pollen. A big out for the freshman there, replacing the catcher, Kurez Dugan. And the freshman steps up here in a tight ball game and extra innings in the top of the 10th. So that was a strike there. Also to the batter, Cook. So we have a one and two count and two outs. And Gary Atkinson will throw a great all-speed pitch just outside, though. Uh, some of the Dayton Flyer players in the field started to trot in, thinking it was a strikeout. But the count is now two and two with two outs. 
Here's another off-speed pitch. Cook nails that one over the left field. Into left field out of play, though. Still a 2-2 count. Here's a 2-2 pitch. And that one's popped up out of play once more. So Gary Atkinson battling on the mound right now for the Flyers. Two and two count, two outs, nobody on base. And Gary Atkinson will get the strikeout with a great off-speed pitch. And the Flyers will come in in the bottom of the 10th. A great throw by Matt Pullen down to second base to get the runner stealing. And another big strikeout from Gary Atkinson to end the top of the 10th. The Flyers will come in now to bat and try to take the lead and ultimately the victory with one run. We'll come back to you for the bottom of the tip right after this. Back Flyer fans here in the bottom of the 10th inning. We have a tied ball game, 9-9. Nine nine. The Flyers need one run for victory. And at the plate now is number 24, Alex Harris. He's 3 for 4 in the day. Three runs and two RBIs. Great day offensively for him. And he'll swing at the first pitch and ground that ball down the third baseline in foul territory, though. DeMarte still on the mound for the Richmond Spiders. We have an 0-1 count now. There's an off-speed pitch on the outside corner. Too far out though, it's ball one. One and one count now. Flyers trying to find a way to get a runner on base. Now Alex Harris rips a ball through the left side of the infield. He'll be on first base with a hit. A big at bat there for the Juco transfer from Texas. He's now four for five on the day. Being that, that it is, the Flyers are playing for run one run. You can almost expect that the Flyers will sacrifice bunt here, but you never know with head coach Tony Vittorio. They have played small ball all day today, so we'll see what he does. And that's exactly what will happen. Glenn Jones will turn to bunt. He'll lay down the first base line on a great push, but the first the pitcher fields it with his glove and flips it over the first baseman. That'll be out number one. Good job there by number 16, Glenn Jones, of laying the bunt down. Now comes to the plate for the Flyers, number 42, Ryan Berry in his first at bat. So Ryan Berry looking for a big hit here to score the runner from second. Outfield for Richmond is playing decently far back. A ground ball through the infield could win this ball game here. And Berry rips that ball over head coach Tony Vittorio right over his head in foul territory, so that will be strike one. Berry ready for that pitch right there. 
We have an 0-1 count now with one out, runner on second base. Flyers tied at 9-9 with the Richmond Spiders. They need one run here for victory. DeMarte will step off the mound and ask for another sign. He's back out. He's back on the mound now. He checks his runner once. He's throwing home. That one's in the dirt. Alex Harris gets a good jump on it. He's taking third base, and he's in there. So good jump there by Alex Harris, taking advantage of the ball in the dirt. And the Flyers have a runner on third base with Ryan Barry at the plate with a one-on-one -on -one count. Only one out. The infield is playing in, and so is the outfield. The outfielders are playing about 10 feet away from the back of the infield. Here's the pitch to Barry. He'll let that one go down below on the outside corner for strike two. So one and two count now for the senior. That pitch go too far inside. We'll have a two and two count now with one out. A very close pitch to take there. Barry seems confident at the plate though. One hit will do it here for the Flyers. DeMarte stares in now. He will throw home and Barry the Jan, but hits the ball towards the third base dugout in foul territory. So he's still alive now at the plate. <laughs> Looking for a big hit here to win the game. A walk off hit here. 2 2 count, one out, runner on third base. And that ball has hit to shallow right field. There is a catch. There, Alex Harris is going from third base. He's going to slide in safely, and the Flyers win it. Alex Harris hits a, a shallow fly ball in foul territory. Excuse me. Ryan Berry hits a shallow fly ball in foul territory. Alex Harris with a great jump off third. He slides in safely at home plate on the throw, and that'll be it. The Dayton Flyers mob out on top of Ryan Berry. A great job by the senior to get the victory for the Flyers here today. They win the series two to one. That was a great game for the Flyers to win today. Big plays by hitters later in the game, the eighth, and a big throw out from Matt Pullen in the, in the ninth, excuse me, the top of the 10th. Matt Pullen threw the runner out of second base, and he also had a big hit in the eighth to keep the rally going. So the Flyers come away with the victory here, 10 to nine at Time Warner Field. Great game from the Flyers. The Flyers take on Baldwin Wallace on Wednesday here at Time Warner Field. That game will be at 3 o'clock. We'll have live audio for you then. The Flyers win 10-9 to here with 14 hits. Two in the first, excuse me, two runs in the first, two runs in the third. And the big inning was in the eighth. They had five runs and one run in the tenth. And that'll be it here from Time Warner Field. Thank you for listening and watching. Good night.